Let's see. What's this? Oh, it's the push pull. Wait. <gasps> oh, whoa, this is crazy. Look, the candle's <clears throat> falling all over the place. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. That's in my bathroom. Where's that clicking coming from? Do I have my lantern? Yeah, okay. Could the cause of the shaking be rats? Why don't you lift it up and find out? No, he just wants to speculate. Ah, uh, That looks even freakier. What in the world is with that mirror? There is a hole in the wall here. Of course you're gonna look in it. Anybody there? I don't like this one bit. Who are you? Is that Loth? Hi. What do you want? <laughs> this is really weird. I am staying in this room. I didn't notice this hole before. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who I'm does a prisoner, this? Just like you. What are you talking about? Prisoner. Exactly. You cannot, must not leave here. The doors were locked from outside. Oh no. But really, that isn't a problem. Since there is nothing but darkness out there. Who locked the doors? They locked them. They locked the doors a long time ago. But that is fine with me. I don't want to go out into that thick, blinding darkness. I don't blame There is you. nothing but insanity out there. I, I can feel it. Watching us. If you are sane, you will stay where you are. Well, he's not sane, so... Who is watching us? I don't understand. Why would someone want to lock the doors? I don't understand what is happening here. I have to get out. Uh, who is watching us? Who is watching us? Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Why would someone lock the doors? I don't understand. Why would someone want to lock the doors? If you don't believe me, try to open the door. Well, I believe you. I just don't understand. I don't understand what is happening here. I don't understand what's happening here. I have to get out. If you really have to leave, use this. But don't forget, there is nothing out there but endless insanity. Okay. We, what we're doing right now is already pretty strange. Why is there a skull on it? A key with a strange shape. It looks like the part of it, the upper part of a skeleton. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. Where did you get that from? What does it do? Use the key on the door, open the inventory panel. And he just marches off. Why does he have no furniture in his room? Can we do something about this annoying toilet? I don't have anything that I can use to explode it or something. That's too bad. Can we maybe... Push this in the corner. I'm gonna reorganize my room. Yeah! What was that? So is it actually locked? Yep. He wasn't lying. Okay, left click the key to select it. Right click to close the panel. Open the door. This looks different. This place, it is too cold. And what is this feeling? It's like something is trying to speak to me. I can hear it right in my head. You might be crazy. It feels awfully familiar for some reason. But I can't recall why. I hear it again. After all these years, I hear the sound of my childhood nightmares once more. Wow. This is... What happened to this place? There should be a staircase here. But where is it? There is nothing but pitch darkness down there. We probably shouldn't fill in, fall in. I feel a vague evil vibration that touches the very depths of my soul. Yeah, let's not go down there. Just a thought. Man, the frame rate in here is crazy. 
He's like super speed Howard. All right, let's save before we go on. Hi. Save. Yes. Go! <laughs> Continue. All right, let's see. What do we got going on here? That's a very blurry picture. Okay. Happy people going somewhere. Alrighty. Door is locked. It's open. I can't open it, it's stuck. Man, we're in Silent Hill, aren't we? Okay, I'm not going in there yet. Is this one locked too? Yeah. It's locked. Okay. Why do they have cone heads? That looks weird. Okay. Someone's sitting there. Why don't you go and find out? Or maybe you shouldn't, come to think of it. I am here, for me, Howard. Howard, now is a good time to I run in the opposite direction. That guy. What is this? What is this? What is going on? Is there someone behind the door? I'm sure I heard voices and someone tried to open the door. That's probably bad. I don't feel sleepy right now. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine why. Oh. Why did my flashlight get put away? Why did you put your flashlight away in the drawer? Can I open this now? What's with all these, like, weird silhouettes? I'm ignoring the door for now. Uh, I'm kind of scared of the door. I'm concerned what will happen when I open it. Well, there's nothing in the toilet this time. Hmm. Alright, let's save again before I open the door. I'm really scared. Like, what if it turns out that Toad Man wants to kill me and I have to run away from him? I'm not good at running away from things. Howard, it's probably not a good idea to go out there. Do I still have everything? Why do I have two flashlights now? <laughs> I can dual wield flashlights! Alright. He, he still doesn't want to go in other people's rooms. But this is where the crazy guy was. We should go visit his room. I mean, you don't want to disturb anybody. You're walking around with a lantern in the middle of an inn at night. You're going to disturb people. Ah, there's a person down there. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, he was in that room. But he was talking to someone. Their conversation was muffled, but I'm sure he was speaking with an old man. We should try to get rid of him later. Oh, great. I've checked him out a bit, and I don't think he knows anything. Tonight, I'll get what they wanted from that too. After that, he can do nothing anyway. Did that guy have a club? Howard, can we please leave? What was that all about? It was about you. They somehow know my name, but how? I didn't do anything to reveal my identity. I must be extra careful from now on. They know me! I don't... 
remember revealing his identity. Or them saying anything about his identity. They're... I should probably put this away. Uh, that's probably a good idea. If they're running around with clubs trying to kill him. Might not be the smartest thing. Mm, they know me. They know about me. How could that be? I wonder why they were talking about taking something from a tomb. Hmm. Okay. Am I supposed to follow the creepy people? I don't feel like this is a good idea. But what do I do? I better not follow them. I noticed that one of them has a knife and they were just talking about getting rid of me. I should wait for morning to begin my research. Okay, can we like barricade your door then, please? Also, that was more than a knife. That was like a machete. <laughs> I don't know what kind of knives you cook with, Howard, but jeez. I barely closed my eyes last night. I don't blame you. Who were the people I saw in the first floor hall? How could they possibly know about me? I didn't even tell them. Tell my name to anybody. This is going to be more dangerous than I expected. I should be extra careful. Okay. So, lie to everybody? I guess that's what I get for... Not lying... Well, actually, I didn't have the opportunity to lie yet. What is that in there? It looks like a lighter and bug spray. Did anyone stick anything in my drawers? Can we take this yet? No, I guess not. Do I still have two flashlights? Yeah! I can still dual wield. Can I just, like, hide in the bathroom with the rats in the toilet and, uh, not do this? <laughs> uh, why do I have to use a lantern during the day? What is this place? It is daytime, right? Huh. Okay. Why can't we go in the crazy guy's room? Also, if they said they heard me talking, I guess that that indicates that the crazy guy was actually real. Did we actually have that conversation? Then we went and looked at the creepy faceless thing. I don't really like this. Howard, what have you done? Why did you have to hop in that tube at the end? Anything in here? No. <sighs> All right. What's that? Oh, that's just that same click thing. Okay, I don't need that. Actually, let's let's do a quick scan. Yeah, nothing else. Okay. Unless that doesn't find hidden clues. Hey, Frogman, what's up? Why are people still sleeping in their plates? Are you drugging their food or something? Is it always this crowded? Are they always sleeping? Yes, I know. But it used to be crowded, especially in spring and summer. That wasn't really an Nowadays, appropriate answer. Here to have a drink or chat with each other. I see. I've never seen you around here, sir. Are you traveling? Uh. Yeah, you could say that. What can you tell me about this town? Uh, sure, start with that. What can you tell me about this town? There really isn't much to talk about. Ark Hammond is quite an old town. Residents still live like their ancestors did hundreds of years ago. Were they frog people of too? Of course. It changed a bit after the War of Northbridge. The population grew and some apartments were built around the town center. But in the old part of town, there are some houses so old, even my great-grandfather didn't know when they were built. Unfortunately, a few months ago, it was announced that there is an epidemic in those parts. The police don't allow anyone to enter, so I'm afraid you won't be able to see it for yourself. <laughs> what kind of epidemic is it? We don't know exactly. 
They won't tell anyone. Hmm. But the whole thing smells Your fishy teeth to are me. Really weird. I don't think there really even is an epidemic down there. <laughs> All right, conspiracy theorist, much? What can you tell me about the townspeople? What can you tell me about the townspeople? Are they frogs? I can Thank tell you. you that we are very traditional. We really enjoy living like our ancestors did, and even still celebrate some ancient festivals. That sounds like bad news. I remember my grandfather telling me stories about witches, and how some places in the oldest part of town should be avoided. Many people here still believe those kinds of stories, and especially because of rumors spread during the war about certain places used as war shelters. Uh -huh. But I must warn you, some folks are a bit extreme. They are very unenlightened and don't like speaking with strangers, so you should be careful around here. Right. Okay, what can you tell me about Worm's Feast? What can you tell me about Worm's Feast? It's the old bookshop run by Henry Lawrence. You can find a few antique things besides the books in there, too. Henry really doesn't like strangers, though. In fact, he doesn't really even like to talk to us. He lives with his wife. On rare occasions, he'll come here alone to get a drink, and then go home quietly. I heard that he fought at the War of Northbridge, and that's the one thing he becomes very talkative about. Hmm. By the way, sir, what are you looking for at Worm's Feast? Great. I'm looking for a book and was told that I can fi only find it there. If that doesn't concern you, I'm a freelance reporter gathering information about the War of Northbridge. I'm a writer gathering information about the War of Northbridge. Well, we're not going to tell him the truth. So let's see. I don't want to just throw him off because that's going to make him suspicious. Let's say he were a writer. I shouldn't reveal my identity like that letter said. I'm not. I'm a writer, gathering information about the War of Northbridge. Really? Some other folks came here and asked about that war a few years ago. I didn't okay. expect anyone else to ask about it ever again. If you need help, I can probably be of service. I grew up hearing all kinds of stories about the war. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> all right, thanks, Brogman. Lying always has its drawbacks. All right, uh, it seems this isn't a very popular spot for visitors. It seems this isn't a very popular spot for visitors. I was the only one who got off the train. Yeah. Probably for a good reason. Our Hammond is an old town that doesn't have anything particularly interesting for sightseers. Okay, who is staying in the room next to mine? That's a little nosy. Who is staying in the room next to mine? No one is staying there at the moment. Nobody ever wants to stay there after the last guest killed himself. Oh, great. Who was he? Why did he kill himself? Who was he? Who was he? An old man. One of the townspeople I don't know. But I heard he was a poet. I don't understand why he'd want to kill himself. Why do you ask? I thought I heard some noises coming from that room. It's haunted. It must be your imagination. I guess so. Why did he kill himself? <laughs> He's just going to ask that anyway. Nobody knows. First he locked himself inside the room, then jumped out of the window. Okay. Interesting. Bye-bye. Thanks. I must go now. So, seems we were talking to a dead guy. Excellent. And we're walking around with a lantern during the day. That's not weird at all. I'm not drawing attention to myself. Oh no. Hey guys! What's up? Can I examine the candlestick again? <laughs> I'm so awkward. Alright. Let's see. I jump on all the tables. Ooh, hello. Alright. 
Let's go outside. Now we actually get a look around. Day two, investigation begins February 22nd, 2012. Wellsmith Daily. Alright, are you gonna settle down? Thank you. Is there a wolf? I can't get in there. Uh, okay, so I guess we need to go to the bookstore. But I wanna see if I can't find a few things around here. What is this? Does it have a name? I can't go any further in this direction. I guess without progressing the screen. Okay, let's see. What's back here? Police line, do not cross. Screw that! I want to go back there. Fine, be that way. Wait, this is the end, right? I think so. What does that even say? Camferwood Inn. Okay, now we know where we're staying. Good. Because I had no idea before. I would have just, if somebody asked me, I would say, I'm staying at the Toad Man's Inn. There's just garbage in there. Hmm. Is this going to be another screen progression? No, I can actually go back here. Hmm. What's this? Worm's Feast. Oh, there it is. Okay, sure. Let's go inside. Well, this is spooky. Examine. A very old phone. I don't think it's useful, just for show. Well, thanks, Howard. Thanks. Ugh. An hourglass. <laughs> you have the most insightful observations. A camera. Map of Archimand. Hmm, that could be handy. Can I have the map? That's a really weird lamp. Okay, whatever. The owner may get mad at me. Oh, noes. That would be terrible. Hey, what's up? Hello? Hello? Uh, how can I help you? <laughs> I am looking for a book called Recollections of the Past. Yes, I have that book, but I got it for someone who ordered it a few weeks ago, so I'm afraid it has a buyer already. Great, it's still here. I have to get it. <laughs> Don't you think a few weeks is a bit long to not pick up an order? They may not come for it after all this time. Sorry, young man, I can't give an order to another person. It's store policy. I understand. All right. Looks like we I am to looking steal for books book. about the War of the North Bridge. You're interested in the war? Well, duh. Yes, I'm a freelance reporter. Yes, I'm a writer. Let's keep our story yes, straight. Yes, I'm a writer. I'm planning to write a book about the war and gathering as much information as I can. Excellent. If I were younger, I would do the same. Writing about that war was my dream. Well, I can why imagine. Why don't you do it now? Since I hear that you fought in the war yourself. I'd very much like to hear about your personal experiences. It will be a great help to my book. It would be a pleasure, young man. Come and see me when you're ready. Okay. Why can't you Thank tell you. me now? I really appreciate that. Also, I heard some rumors that were spread during the war about certain places used as shelters. Do you know anything about those? Oh, yes. They could be quite horrible. I never saw one personally, but other soldiers found some really terrible things inside. Uh, Many were so bad, they were immediately burned down. We were never told about them in detail, but we all heard the rumors. Rumors about burial grounds inside abnormally large cellars of ancient houses. Stolen tombstones with strange writings on them, viciously butchered animal carcasses. Sounds lovely. And about the screaming thing that caused two soldiers to go crazy. A screaming oh my. thing? 
I never heard about all those. <laughs> Howard. <laughs> they were covered up. As I said, most of them were burned down without anyone knowing about them. And people of this town don't like to speak about the past with strangers. I see. By the way, may I ask your name, young man? Howard. Howard, no. Why? And mine is Henry. Pleased to meet you. In fact, I may be a bit biased, but I already like you, Howard. You seem like a nice guy. So, about that book you asked for earlier. You're right. I don't think the person who ordered it will come for it now. You can buy it instead. Well, thank you. It was written here, you know, right at the time of the war. So, it may come in handy for you. Okay. That would be great. Yay. It's in the cellar. Could you go and get it yourself? You should find it on one of the shelves. I don't like this. I have problems with my legs. A constant reminder of that same war, which got much worse recently. Normally, my wife helps me out, but she isn't feeling too well right now. No problem, Henry. I would be happy to get it. Uh, I don't want to go in the cellar. I don't want to go in the cellar. Bad things happen in cellars. <sighs> Fine. We'll go in the cellar. This is a really bad plan. I hope you're aware, Howard. This is bad. Alright, let's save before we go in the cellar. I am concerned. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need to retitle it. <laughs> it's still high. 